Hi guys, this is Abhi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. In this video, we are learning about MCB. We'll go in detail about the MCB. We'll cover all the working and selection process for MCBs. The content of this video is what is MCB, components of MCB, working of MCB, selection of MCB. In selection, we are discussing tripping characteristics types of MCB and current rating of MCBs. What is MCB? MCB is miniature circuit breaker. Normally, it is used in the range of 5 to 100 amps. Then what is circuit breaker? Circuit breaker is an electrical safety device. It can protect the circuit or the equipment from three conditions, overload, ground fault or short circuits. The basic function of circuit breaker is to protect the equipment and prevent the fire and avoid the loss of life. What is the purpose of MCB? MCB used for short circuit protection and overload protection. It will operate in both ways, thermal and magnetic. If you look at the MCB structure, it has a bimetallic strip, a magnetic trip unit. The magnetic trip unit consists of a coil and a piston arrangement. Then it has fixed contact, moving contact, then arc chamber. What is the function of arc chamber? Arc chamber is used to quench the arc due to the, the sudden switching over or sudden interruption of the current. If you turn off the current suddenly, there will be a spark or arc due to the ionization of air. Arc chamber has different small small chambers. So the arc is forced to pass through that. Then it loses its strength and it will be extinguished. As we said earlier, MCB has two functions. Bimetallic strip used for overload protection. Bimetallic strip is a combination of two different metals. It's used to convert temperature changes into mechanical displacement. That is, if heating, the bimetallic strip bends. And if the temperature becomes normal, the bimetallic strip comes to same position. So if the current passing through an MCB is more than the rated current, the temperature starts to increase in the MCB. And the current is flowing through the bimetallic strip. What happens? The temperature of the bimetallic strip starts to increase. This overload protection is a time taking procedure. For small variations, the bimetallic strip won't be activated suddenly. If the higher current, the, the overload current continues to flow through the bimetallic strip for some time, what happens? The bimetallic strip starts to bend. This bending of bimetallic strip will trigger the tripping mechanism that is fixed and moving contacts. As a result, the circuit breaker will be tripped. Another type of protection in MCB is short circuit protection. Magnetic trip units is used for the short circuit protection. When short circuit happens, sudden surge in the current will happen, right? The current will be increased in a huge amount. A magnetic trip unit, basically a coil and piston arrangement, okay? Coil is in the form of spring. If you are turning MCB on, then spring will be pulled upwards. That is, the spring will be in tensed condition. The current flows through incoming to outgoing through the spring only. When short circuit happens, there is a sudden increase in the current. So what will happen? The coil will produce a higher amount of magnetic field. We know if the current is passing through a coil, it will produce a magnetic field. If the short circuit happens, the current will be huge. So the magnetic field will be high. Inside the piston also, there is a magnetic field. So due to this magnetic repulsion under the short circuit condition, the piston will be come down. It will trigger the operating mechanism and the contact will be activated and the circuit will be open. This short circuit protection is instantaneous. Under the short circuit condition, the MCB will trip instantaneously. We know under the overload condition, the bimetallic trip has to heat and bend. So it will take some time. But in short circuit condition, the MCB will trip instantaneously. If you look at this, we have four circuit breakers in which, which one is the MCB? So if if you look at the first one, you can see B20, a letter wheel is there and number is there. B is the tripping cara, then 20 is the rated cara. This is an MCB. The second one C20, this is also an MCB. C is the 20 is the, then D20, this is also an MCB because letter is there and number is there. Fourth one, 40 ampere. Is this an MCB? No, it's not an MCB because there is no tripping characteristic specified. So if you see a circuit breaker, you can see B, C, D, K, Z letters and a number. So tripping cara 
and the rated current will specified in all the MCBs. If you don't see the dripping cara, then it will not be an MCB. In this scenario, the last one, 40 MBO, is an isolator, it's not an MCB. The next part is designing and selection of MCB. Consider a motor. It has a rated current of 10 amps. We know the starting current of the motor will be 5 to 6 times of the rated current. What should be the rating of MCB? If we put 10 amps MCB, what happened? The starting current is more. So it will trip in the starting. If we put 60 amps MCB in order to cover the starting current, it will be an overrated system. Then what is the solution for this? The engineers thought about it and found a solution. The solution is let's allow a starting current or higher current for some time periods. Based on that, they designed the MCB. If you look at the MCB, you can see two parts. One is letter and one is a number. So C32. C means tripping time or tripping characteristics. 32 is the rated current. In order to capture this situation, we will allow a more current or starting current or higher current for a some time period. So basically we will extend the tripping time of an MCB. Based on this, we can say the MCB selection has two parts. First part is current rating or rated current of an MCB. The second part is types of an MCB. In order to find the current rating, I have prepared an Excel sheet for you. You can download this from the description. Basically, for the three phase system, the equation for the power is P equal to root 3 V into I into cos 5. Cos 5 is the power factor. V is the standard three phase voltage. I is the current that we have to find. So consider a load of 30 kilowatt in this Excel sheet, just under 30. If you under 30 kilowatt, you can find the current as 52.23 amps. That is the load current. If you are connecting an NCB with 30 kilowatt load, what will be the load current? Load current will be 52.23 ampere. Let's consider a single phase scenario also. The equation for power for single phase is P equal to V i cos phi, V into i into cos phi, cos phi is the power factor that we are assuming as 0 0.8 for the calculation purpose. V is the standard single phase voltage V equal to 230 volts. Then load, we have a load of 2 kilowatt. We are protecting the load of 2 kilowatt, then just under 2. So you are getting the value as current. The load current for single phase, the load of 2 kilowatt equal to 10.86 ampere. Let's find the current rating of MCB. The equation is MCB current rating equal to load current plus 20% of the load current as spare or safety factor. As per IEC, we are keeping 20% spare breaker capacity for overload current. In our scenario, our three phase load current equal to 52.23 amps. Then MCB rating will be 52.23 into 1.2, 20% just safety factor. The answer will be 62.7. So if you look at the MCB chart, we will select the next rating. Next MCB rating available for selection is 63 amps. Why we are taking 63 amps? Because that is the rating available in the market. No manufacturer is making 62.7 ampere MCB in the market. Next rating available in the market is 63 amps. So our selection is 63 amps, three phase MCB. Let's look at our single phase scenario also. Equation is same. MCB rating equal to load current into 20% of spare or safety factor. In our single phase scenario, load current is 11 amps. So 11 into 1.2. The answer will be 13.34. The next available rating in single phase section is 15 amps. Our MCB selection will be 15 amps single phase MCB. The next part is we have to find the types of MCB. That is tripping characteristics of MCB. Based on the tripping characteristics, MCB is classified into 5, type B, C, D, K and Z. IEC 608981, detail is specified into B, C, D types MCBs. The main difference between B, C, D type MCB is in the short circuit tripping characteristics. The overload tripping will be almost same for all the MCBs. The difference lies on the short circuit tripping characteristics. Type B MCB trips between 3 to 5 times of full load current. Type C MCB trips between 5 to 10 times of full load current. Type D MCB trips between 10 to 20 times of full load current. In Type Z, it trips between 2 to 3 times of rated current or full load current. 
because of this delicate nature it is used to protect the delicate electronic equipments then type k mcu tips between 10 to 14 types this is an excerpt from iec 608981 this standard is used for the bcd type mcbs you can see columns its type is the the test current test current is the current flowing through mcbs then limits of tripping or non tripping time when the test current flows through it what is impact at what time it trip that is specified in that column then result in first condition you can see section test a b c this three section is common for b c d type mcbs that is test current 1.13 in what is 1.13 in that means or we are passing a current that is 1.13 times of the full load current if our mcb is 10 ampere then the current passed through it 11.3 amps so up to 1.13 times of the rated current we can see that all class mcbs all bcd class mcbs is taking more than one hour to trip then we are increasing the current into 1.45 times of full load current in this condition what is happening the mcb is tripping within one hour we can assume that up to 1.45 times of load current mcb is tripping within one hour we again increase the current into 2.55 times of load current so for 10 ampere mcb in this scenario what will be the current passing through it it is 25.5 so in this scenario what is happening we observed that mcb is tripping within a minute so this three ranges 1.13 1.45 and 2.55 times of load currents comes under overload section mcb is tripping but it is taking some time up to 1 minute this is called overload tripping we have seen how mcb is working under overload condition by metallic strip will act in this scenarios up to 2.55 times of full load current mcb is working under overload condition with the help of bimetallic strips so this overload sections are same for all the mcbs b c d what is the application of this different type of mcbs this type b mcbs used in domestic applications and low voltage commercial settings type c mcb is used in residential and commercial applications actually this type b and type c mcbs are most commonly used in residential segments in our apartment home etc type d mcb used for heavy duty commercial and industrial devices type d mcb is more into industrial segment then type z mcb it is used to protect delicate electronic equipments such as semiconductors so type z mcb is used to protect the delicate electronic equipments then type k mcb is a good choice for motors in iec we can find a graph plotting between rated current the multiple of rated current versus the tripping time this is called tripping characteristics curve this b c d are the types of mcb in the right side you can see z and k also so in this graph you can find that the thermal tripping or up to 2.55 times of rated current the characteristic will be same only the difference is between the short circuit characteristics if you look at the b type mcb sudden tripping the instantaneous tripping happens between 3 to 5 times of the full load current in c case it is between 5 to 10 times of the full load current in d type the instantaneous tripping is between 10 to 20 times of the full load current in the case of z and k in z it is happening between 2 to 3 times and k it is happening between 10 to 15 times in between 10 to 15 times of full load current k type mcb will trip instantaneously within one millisecond if you look at the bcd curve we can see three ranges i1 1.13 times of the full load current i2 1.45 times of the full load current i3 2.55 times of the full load current up to 1.13 times of the full load current the tripping time is greater than one hour so it will take more than one hour to trip if the current flowing through is below 1.13 times of the full load current if the range is in between 1.13 and 1.45 times of the full load current the mcb will trip in one hour so mcb will trip within one hour if the range is between 2.55 and 1.45 times of the full load current the mcb will trip within one minute then from three to five times of the full load current the b type mcb will trip instantaneously so there will be a question what is the range between 2.55 and 3 within that value the tripping time will be between one minute and one millisecond 
I have some practice problems for you. Please complete these problems and comment the answer in comment section. This will help you to gain the experience in MCB selection. First one is, what is the selection of MCB used for a villa and comer with a connected load of 40 kW? Second one, what is the selection of MCB used for a small shop with a load of 5 kW? That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about MCB, working and selection. See you in the next video. Bye.